And welcome back, everyone. Just starting you off with your Mortgage Solutions financial camera. This is North Union and Montebello. As the sun goes down on this Saturday night, it was a very nice last couple of days with temperatures in the 50s. We're already cooling off in Colorado Springs, 38 degrees in Lamar, 47 out in Springfield. And Canyon City still on the warm side at 62 degrees. And uh, wind speed's not so much a problem right now, but after midnight tonight, uh, winds will pick up slightly. We'll gust to about 20, 25 miles an hour in Colorado Springs. Similar wind speeds in Pueblo and across the eastern plains as a cold front will sink on through the state. 29 degrees for us overnight. Uh, 20 in Salida with your temperatures significantly cooler in Alamosa and Gunnison. That's pretty typical. And then for tomorrow, uh, cooling for highs as we deal with this uh, little cool off associated with the cold front overnight tonight. But uh, then cooler temperatures even Monday and Tuesday. So today was really the last warm day for the next five or six days straight here. Uh, 44 degrees in Walsenburg tomorrow uh, and your temperatures into the 40s and 50s for tomorrow afternoon in the southeastern side. But uh, current radar shot, there's nothing out there quite yet, but that will be changing. And uh, this is kind of one of those forecasts. It's a tricky one because there's a lot going on. A couple cold fronts that will cross through the state in the next few days. The first one is up in Montana right now, dropping through Colorado Springs after midnight tonight, which won't bring us any snowfall on I-25, maybe a couple flurries just west of Denver on I-70, but staying dry for Pueblo, La Junta, all, all across Highway 50 tonight. The winds will pick up, though, in cooler temperatures tomorrow. That's the uh, main result of the cold front tonight. But then for your Sunday forecast, partly uh, cloudy skies during the early afternoon, then late Monday night, early Tuesday, or, or late Sunday night, early Monday. This is where it gets a little tricky. So this is a high resolution model run, which kind of does the best job picking up uh, precipitation across the mountains. So by midnight Monday, a couple flurries in the forecast through the gap and maybe even some rain showers on Highway 50. Uh, some snow falling in the Sangres through Custer County. And uh, then uh, the brunt of the moisture in the forecast for Monday night and Tuesday. So that's when we should be receiving most of the accumulation in Colorado Springs. But uh, there is some model discrepancy going on here. Um, so it's very tricky uh, for a forecaster. And this is kind of what nightmares are made of for meteorologists. But uh, so here's a low resolution resolution snow accumulation forecast. So less than an inch in Canyon City uh, overnight Sunday into Monday and notice we're barely getting anything in Colorado Springs based on this model run. But then a couple of our other ones are Nam and then uh, Barron 15 kilometer are going upwards of six inches of snow uh, with a good amount of snow falling late Sunday early Monday. So just keep an eye on the forecast over the next 24 hours because it's possible Colorado Springs getting some snow by early Monday. Then we'll get a little bit of a dry spell through the day Monday and then another inch or two Monday night Tuesday. I know I'm confused as well. Here's your uh, Woodland Park seven day forecast. Low 30s uh, out there for the end of your weekend. Canyon City at 43 degrees and then by your Tuesday snowfall, uh, snow showers, rain snow mix considering your temperatures are so warm. Pueblo at 46 degrees Tuesday afternoon and I'm running out of time here folks, but I will get to your seven day again later in the show. I promise you that Jen. Okay, looking forward to it. Thanks.